So let's do an example. What is the heat release rate of the pool in the video below? So if we assume that the heat of combustion is 30.79 kilojoules per gram, and so we'll need to change the unit to that when we actually work out the problem, we can do that. If we watch this video, we can see that it starts with a, a mass of 53 grams. And we have the pool fire burning, so it starts with 53 grams. Let me see if I can get into the I don't think I can write and watch the video at the same time, so we'll let it go. And I'll make move some of this piece of paper and write them on the next slide. So we started with 53 grams. We're going to let this burn for 150 seconds. And it just burns out. Right? Okay. So once again, the negative number comes from the miscalibration of the load cell not having actual negative mass in the pan. So we go from 53 grams to negative 4 grams, and that takes 100, no, 1 minute and 50 seconds. Alright, so we want to calculate... Yeah. We want to calculate the heat release rate of that fire. Q dot, which is equal to our efficiency times our mass uh, loss rate times some heat of combustion. So we set our heat of combustion, delta HC, is equal to 30.79 kilojoules per gram and we can adjust that to kilojoules per kilogram by taking there is a thousand grams and one kilogram so that's equal to 30.79 times 10 to the third kilojoules per kilogram and then if we do, we need to know our chi. So if we say our efficiency is equal to 0 0.7. And then we need to know our mass loss rate. So this is equal to our mass initial minus our mass final divided by our change in time. So that's equal to 50. 3 grams minus negative 4 grams divided by 1 minute and 50 seconds. So this is equal to 57 grams because you get a negative a minus a negative is, is a positive plus divided by 60 seconds plus 50 seconds. So that's equal to 110 seconds. So this overall fraction is equal to 57 divided by 110 is 0.52 grams per second. It is important to not do 150 seconds. It's 1 minute and 50 seconds, not 150 seconds. A lot of students seem to uh, forget that one minute is not 100 seconds, even though the French, when the, after the Romans fell, the French wanted to make a minute 100 seconds long. I was reading history last night and why we need it, or why we have a 24 hour day. Anyway, we won't do that. We won't talk about that there. So we have uh, a thousand grams and one kilogram. So we say this is equal to 0 0.52 divided by a thousand is 5.2 times 10 to the negative fourth kilograms per second. And so then we can plug in 
all of our terms into our heat release rate equation. We have 0 0.7 times 5.2 times 10 to the negative fourth kilograms per second. And that's multiplied by 30.79 times 10 to the third kilojoules per kilogram. And so if we look at the equation, we have kilograms here, kilograms here, those cancel out, no units here. And we're left with kilojoules per second, which is a kilowatt. So that's the right unit. It's always good to check your units. And I like to write them out when I write the equation. It takes a little bit more time. But when I'm actually solving problems in real life and not for just for homework, uh, I write out the units specifically because of the mistake matters when you're doing real analysis. 0.7 times 5.2 times 10 to the negative fourth times 30.79 times 10 to the third is equal to 11.2 kilowatts. So the next question we ask is, is this reasonable? Right? It's important to ask, is it reasonable? So we saw the fire. Um, we saw what the fire looked like. We know that from the slide before, we know that a a waste paper basket is a hundred kilowatts. Waste paper. Now this is a big waste paper basket, not like one of the big sort of three feet in diameter waste paper baskets, not one of the small sort of bathroom sized waste paper baskets, in my opinion. I claim. So 100 kilowatts is is this large large fire. A human, or let's say a candle, a candle is 80 watts, which is equal to 0 0.8 kilowatts. So we have how many? What's 11.2 divided by 0 0.8? We have the power of 14 candles. Let's see if we have 14 candles. It's smaller than, it's a tenth the size of a waste paper basket. So if we were asked the question, is it reasonable? I'm going to say it's on the right order of magnitude. If I look at this fire again, Okay, I'm just drawing lines. If I look at the fire, so we have, it's reasonably large. To me it looks bigger than 14 candles, but uh, not nearly as large as a significant waste paper basket fire. Also, we this heat of combustion is... is less than gasoline. Gasoline is 43.7 kilojoules per gram. More than paper, but less than gasoline. On the order of nylon. So, I'm going to say the answer we got is reasonable. I would say that yes, it's, it's on the correct order of magnitude. We didn't get 11,000 kilowatts. We didn't get 0.1 kilowatts, so that's good. We're on the right order of magnitude, so according to the math, I think they did it, right? So isn't it reasonable? Is it reasonable? Check. Check. Okay. 